Hello. C Drama greets you. Today we are talking about the Chinese drama Hidden Love EP5. Sang Zi planned to sneak out before the private tutor arrived, but to her surprise, she saw Duan Jixu in the kitchen at home. Sang Yan told her that Duan Jixu was her new tutor. Sang Zi hesitated and went to the dining table to eat. Duan Jixu had prepared instant noodles for her, and he even added a fried egg. Initially reluctant to take extra classes, Sang Zi suddenly became enthusiastic and grabbed her books to go to Sang Yan's room for the tutoring session. It was only from Duan Jixu's resume that Sang Zi learned his full name. Duan Jixu was busy playing games with Sang Yan while Sang Zi cautiously took out her phone and secretly took a picture of him. When Duan Jixu noticed, she compared it to a victory sign and Sang Yan, who was beside them, didn't suspect anything. Sang Zi changed Duan Jixu's contact name to Jixu Ji Brother Jixu. Soon, he arrived with a cut watermelon and a physics book, confidently asking Sang Zi to show him the photo she had just taken. Sang Zi quickly changed the topic to the tutoring session. She admitted that she didn't understand physics at all, but Duan Jixu was a good teacher. Sang Zi asked Duan Jixu why he chose to attend Nangu University and he explained that he wanted to work in the game industry, and Nangu had the most developed gaming industry, so he chose to come here. Duan Jixu interned for four days a week, dedicating the remaining three days to tutoring Sang Zi. Since Sang Zi had slept late the previous night, she allowed Duan Jixu to rest for a while before starting the class. She even carefully draped a coat over him. As Sang Zi had no interest in physics, Duan Jixu planned to take her to a science and technology museum to spark her interest. The fascinating phenomena at the museum made Sang Zi very happy. Duan Jixu took the opportunity to give her sincere advice, and they made a promise to support each other, work hard, and achieve their dreams together. Sang Zi enjoyed drawing, and Duan Jixu encouraged her to continue pursuing this hobby. Suddenly, Sang Zi asked if he could refrain from dating because she believed it would distract her from her dreams. She also wondered if he would still treat her well if he had a girlfriend. Duan Jixu reassured her like he was comforting a child saying he would find a gentle girlfriend who would be good to her as it would be like having another person who cared about her. Duan Jixu had some work to do, so Sang Yan took Sang Zi home. That night Sang Zi realized her sketchbook was missing and realized she had left it at the Science and Technology Museum. When she contacted the museum, they informed her that they had given the sketchbook to Duan Jixu. Sang Zi couldn't help but feel a headache coming on because she had drawn his portrait in the sketchbook. The next day, Duan Jixu returned the sketchbook. Sang Zi couldn't help but overthink, believing that he must have already seen it. Sang Yan noticed Sang Zi's infatuation and ran back to the dormitory feeling annoyed. Duan Jixu comforted him, saying that it's normal for someone their age to have such thoughts. To make Duan Jixu believe that she wasn't infatuated with him, Sang Zi made up a lie about an online relationship. She even acted sad during the class. Duan Jixu believed her and solemnly told her that it wasn't the right time to start a romantic relationship. After school, Zenru suddenly asked Sang. If you like the video don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye bye.